Hi, my name is Mike. In today's video, I'm calling it Signs of the Last Days, the Northern Lights. Uh, <clears throat> Before I start, I want to just read a few scriptures. Acts 2.17 And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And also Amos 3.7 Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. As you know, the Northern Lights are now being become more prominent around the world. That was a sign, a sign of the last days. Um, when we look back at past videos, you see that people had, were given dreams and visions about the Northern Lights appearing before the three days of darkness, before the coming of the fallen ones and before the coming of Jesus Christ. Uh, for some examples of the videos, let me just pan, was uh, uh, this guy here called Mike444 had a dream from God about six plus years ago about the Northern Lights. Then if you scroll down as well, you see others having dreams about the Northern Lights before the three days of darkness. There's tons of them. These are from years ago. I just wanted to highlight um, from the Master's voice. Um, this is from one year ago about the Northern Lights being seen. But today I am making this brief video to discuss something that the Lord has brought once again to my attention. And that is what will be one of the signs of the Lord's coming. I was in the book of Luke chapter 21 and I was reading. It is very good to visit these chapters over and over again. Luke 21, Mark 13, Matthew 24 and Revelation 6. Those chapters are packed with things that if you sit before God and you go over them line by line thoughtfully what does this sentence mean what is this sentence telling me to watch for what is this sentence saying about the season that we will enter into that is indicative of the Lord's coming then many people will have their understanding opened, especially those who are of a certain mind and a certain expectation, thinking that Jesus will do certain things on their clock and not the clock that he has already encapsulated in this book. The verse that I will go to is verse 11, Luke chapter 21 and verse 11. My heart was touched when I came to this verse, and there will be great earthquakes in various places famines and pestilences and there will be fearful sights and great signs from heaven and i just looked up from reading this and i said lord what is the sign and immediately the voice came back the aurora borealis and i was taken aback i was i'll leave a link to that video also um, i met up with brother don and we were talking about the signs of the last days so I'm going to finish off with that video and say anyone out there hasn't come to Lord Jesus, please don't wait as we're living in the last days. So here's the video of me and Brother Don together talking about the signs of the last days. God bless. Hi, my name is Mike. In today's video, I'm calling it signs of the last days. And guess who I've got with me? Brother Don. Oh, that's wonderful. Like to get together. It's good to get together to do a video to together. Oh yeah. So we want to talk about the signs of the last days. I did a video prior about signs. I wanted to go more about yeah. that. So yeah, Mike did a, a very interesting one. He did just recently. We want to expand on it and add a bit more. I mean, what God's <laughs> given a lot of signs, especially I think this year was yeah. uh, with the Keys Bridge. I think that 20, fell. 20, we we quite really believe God is, this 2024 is a pinnacle year. So many things have happened. You said something about, remember? Yeah, the, 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 the Baltimore saw, Bridge. Uh, yeah, so that, that, yeah, that bridge in America collapsing. Um, you know, a big, I, mean, I think that's a big sign because that bridge, we well, you know, information about that, it was, uh, I think the bridge was made by Keys, is it Keys uh, Bridge? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, 
this uh, it's linked to what do you call it national, uh, American national anthem. So, so who, 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 you know, who, they they put they built the bridge in honor of this man in America. They did the American national anthem. Some people think it's a sign that America's going to collapse. What do you think? Yeah. Well, so, but the, but as we're in England, I mean, you know. The one, the horses, yeah, horses well, riding through London. I mean, <laughs> was a very big sign. I know some Christians out there think it's just, just accident or something. But I mean, if you look at the, the fact that the horses, um, you have the horses. Uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, there's an image here yeah, where the horses is like. Uh, I mean, I don't know if you see. Really, there's uh, blood up to the horse's bridle, I mean, and there was a scripture in Revelation. I mean, regarding blood up to horses and bridle. I mean, yeah. I, if you can see that, I yeah. mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, that. that was to me, Mike. Oh. Lots of people just overlooked that. Yeah. But the, the fact is, you know, the black horse and the white horse with blood. And, yeah. and there's a scripture in Revelation. Yeah, if you can read that out. Uh, Revelation uh, regarding uh, blood to horses bridle. Uh, is it is, Revelation is it fourteen and twenty? Yeah, I read that. One and out. the wine press was trodden without the city and blood came up of the wine press even unto the horses bridles by the space of a thousand six hundred furlongs uh, so uh, this uh, is uh, yeah. judgment when god will destroy the wicked yeah, and also the horses ran for a funny enough about i think it was about six miles six before miles. they were stopped six miles through london and, and big ben you can see bank there stopped uh, chiming uh, <laughs> he's chiming here Big Ben stopped chiming, and it chimed again, for, I think, an hour or so later. So it stopped chiming, and his horses, some of them in blood, running through London for six miles before I mean, they stopped. I, mean, I don't understand. They didn't stop the horses for six miles. And how many people were bolted? I mean, how, how many were thrown off the horses? There so was four, four people. Four people were thrown off their horses, and five, apparently five horses ran forward. Is it a sign? Five seals? Five horses? You know, also five horses. Remember in Revelation, it speaks of horses. Um, there's four seals, but one is death, so that could be like you can count as, as five horses. Yeah. And also, the, all these auroras, mm. you know, around the world. This is apparently meant to be another big sign for 2024. Uh, the solar max that happens every 11 years. Mm. Another sign that. Everyone around the world almost saw these auroras. You wouldn't believe it. In our backyards, I mean, people pay thousands of pounds to go to Laplands. Me and Mike believe it's a sign of the last days if you see it in your own, in our own very, our own towns. Yeah, I reckon there's going to be more of these auroras coming because we're in that sort of yeah. time frame. Lots of signs. Also, uh, what about the war? I mean, it, it's not it's not going away, is it? No, this war in Ukraine is intensifying. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, that's getting worse. The Ukraine war is not stopping. And also oh, yeah. seven months with this Gaza and Israeli war. Yeah, that's still going on. That's not stopping. And yeah. Netanyahu is actually fulfilling Bible prophecy as Psalm 84, uh, you know, 83 says. You know, he's infuriating the Islamic world. Well, the nation is so they're all yeah. coming against it soon. So, yeah, lots of signs, also signs in the heavens. Oh. Remember, there was uh, an asteroid called Child. Oh, yeah, there was uh, earlier this year, mm. yeah, earlier this year, an asteroid called Child Come going, out going th through and out of Virgo. Yeah. You know, okay. you know and also it. there was, an, a, you know, an eclipse. Yeah, that looked like a ring on the uh, on, on the on soon after, yeah. with... Uh, you know, the eclipse on the f ring finger Virgo. Yeah. So, oh, this points out that 140,000 brides is very near. Very close. So very, very close. We are living in the last days. You know, oh, so well, it's, uh, there was some big things are happening. Yes. Uh, you can see the wars are happening, pestilences, you know, we, and famines, as it says in Scripture in Matthew 24, Revelation chapter 6. You know, things are happening you big know, time. You know, Jesus, men, you know, tells us to, you know, to repent mm. and to, to put faith in him yeah. to gain salvation. Because yeah. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, oh. and no one.
go to the Father except through Jesus Christ. He's the only way to heaven. We need to like seek Jesus Christ, repent of our sins, and turn away from sin, live a life of pleasing to God. Oh, what does it say in Matthew 4, 17? Yeah, it says, From that time Jesus began to preach, saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The, the Lord, and, and also 2 Peter 3, 9, The Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise, as some people count slowness, but is patient towards you, not wishing that anyone should be destroyed, but all should reach to repentance. So, uh, okay, so anyone out there who hasn't come to Lord Jesus Christ, please don't wait. As you can see, the signs are everywhere. We're living in the last days. Oh, uh, it is, I really believe that though we're already in tribulation since 2020 it's going to intensify I believe by the end of this year, 2024, it's going to get worse. The horsemen are going to get worse, basically. War, famine, disease. You know, disease, war, and famine, they're going to get worse. Anyway, we leave it there. So anyone out there hasn't come to Lord Jesus, please don't wait, because we're living in the last days. God bless you all. God bless. Bye.